Hello, I am Sushil Mehta from Networkers Home Technical Team, and today I would like to present EVNG installation. First, we'll see EVNG installation on on ESXi server. But before that, let's understand. We have two different editions of our EVNG. First is community edition, which is for free, can be used up to sixty devices. And another we have professional edition, which is paid edition, and we have a full access, no limitation of any devices. Now, EVNG can be installed in a two different ways. One is OVF template and another is ISO image on the Linux kernel we can install. So first of all, we'll see uh, through OVF template and we are going through our tasks like we'll first of all download and install EVNG on ESXi. We'll see basic configurations of EVNG through CLI. We'll change password, static IP address configuration, gateway, DNS, NTP configuration, and we'll verify the addresses through our CLI and we'll try to check a disk space on our EVNG. So let's get started. First of all, you guys need to go to EVNG official website and visit and click on download option. And in this download option, you can see we have EVNG professional, we have EVNG community edition. So click on EVNG community edition. You can see we have EVNG OVF template and ISO image. First of all, I'll click on EVNG OVF template. You can download it through Google or you can download it through the Mega Mirror. So if I click on Mega Mirror, you, you'll be redirected to one of the page and here you'll give it an option of a download. So I have already downloaded this and you can see it's already downloaded here. So you guys need to download. Now, once it is downloaded, extract it. And once it is extracted, once it is extracted, you can see this particular file and inside this will have the OVF file. Now this OVF file has to be imported inside your ESXi server. So I'll get an access to my ESXi server. Now this is my ESXi server. I'll click on host and I'll click on create and register a virtual machine. So click here, select the second option, deploy a virtual machine and click on next. Give a name here as a EVNG, something like one, two, whatever it is, and click on select or drag and drop. So you need to get in a location wherein you can download your EVNG. So you can open this and you can say next. And you can see, you can select your drive where you want to get selected. Wherever you see it, you have enough space, you can select it and say next and you can click on thin and uh, uh, adapter through which you want to get uh, access you can select it and say next make sure that you select a thin provision because thin provision is just like whatever space you will be providing would not occupy the entire space okay so it's better to go with the thin provision now press next and after that click on finish and you'll see it will get imported on your EVNG. I'm like, it will get imported on your ESXi server. So wait for some time, let it get imported. Let it complete 100%. Once 100% done, we can see in a list of virtual machines. Like here, we can see a name of EVNG one, okay? but this would complete 100% successfully. So wait and watch. Now we can see it's almost completed. Okay, now it's successfully imported on your ESXi server. So click on this, power it off. We should not power it on and go to action and go to settings, edit settings. Now here you have to decide how many CPUs you want to give. Try to give a maximum CPU that you can give. Let's say if I'm giving 16 CPUs, right. 
and after that you can see uh, memory how much memory you can allocate i can say it depends on your server how much ram you have how much cpu do you have in my case let's say 500 gb ram i can allocate now disk space you should give maximum that you can allocate so by default 50 gb if it is taken here you should not edit this you should add a new hard drive say a new hard drive and then you can allocate like let's say if i were to give 500 gb i would i would give a 500 gb right and inside this uh, hard drive you can see you can select a thin provision okay you should not select a thick provision then only it will allow you to install right and click on save so here you can see cpu and memory we allocated are reflecting here right and now uh once again just go to edit settings and verify properly like you have hard drive given you have allocated cpu and ram everything properly and here your network adapter should be accessible through which uh, vm network that you should verify first so in my case i would like to access through my vm network it gives me a access so it depends on your ES esxi configuration so i'll click on save and i'll click on power on over here so once your evng is powered on press enter and let it boot if you press escape the front picture will go and you can see in a back end what is happening so let it get booted first it will take around five minutes initially to come up so you can see it's booting right now and you can see it will take around five minutes initially to come up so meanwhile we'll pause the video and when it will be around five minutes we'll again resume our video now it's almost about to complete five minutes and after this you'll see it will boot up and let it come up it it should prompt you for username and the password okay now by default we'll give a username as a root we should click inside this and click on type a username as a root and password will be ev default username and the password it will prompt you for a password you can type a same password or you can give any password it depends on you so type a host name domain name and here be very conscious you should select a static i have to configure a static ip go with okay i'll give a management ip like 150.1.7 i'll give 84 as an ip i'll give subnet mask 255.255.255.0 i'll give you a gateway according to my network 150.1.7.254 is a gateway i have to give a primary dns so always try to give a global dns 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and 4.2.2.2 so this will help you to get internet access from your evng it is asking for your ntp server you can give your router's ip or gateway ip as a ntp server so 150.1.7.254 now press enter and press enter so you will see your evng will get booted and it will get restarted now once your evng comes up you can see that particular ip okay if you see this type of screen coming up you can just press escape and you can see your evng is ready with your particular ip so you can go to your base pc through which you are connected to evng and you can ping 150.1.7.84 and you should have a reachability to that evng now you can see I have an access to a EVNG, right? Now I should log in into a CLI to check the details. So if I come to EVNG, CLI, you click on this particular console, log in with username root and 
just click on it. yeah now type username as a root password as a ev right if you want to see ip address through cli say if config press enter right and you can see ip address details And if you want to see disk space utilization on your EVNG, then you can give a command called as a DF space minus H and press enter. When you press enter, you, you can see uh, the disk space over here. Let me indicate. So you can see this part. Okay. And here you can see your total space. So total out of 550 GB, I can see 509 GB space is available for all your installations and all, and all your labs and all, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video with next part of a configuration. Thank you. Hi, this is continuation of our previous video. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install WinSCP application. This application is used to upload images to our EVNG. Second, we'll see how to download and install EVNG client pack. This application will help you to get the console of all our devices. And we'll also see how to upload images and creating the labs on EVNG. So let's get started. First of all, you have to visit to official website of your winscp.net. And here you'll get an option of downloading WinSCP. So once you download on this particular link, your WinSCP will get automatically downloaded, right? In my case, I have already downloaded and installed this particular application. So I'll just quickly open this application. And here I'll open a new session. Inside this, uh, we can go to a new site. I'll type an IP address of my EVNG. Uh, it's 150.1.7.84 and username by default for CLI will be root and password will be EVE. Okay, so we'll click on this and we can see we have connected to our EVNG. Then we'll move to our root part. This is our EVNG part. So click on this, go to OPT. Inside the OPT, go to unit lab. Inside the unit lab, go to add-ons. Inside that you'll find QMU. And here you can see we have no images. Now these are the images that you have to download and upload to your uh, EVNG. So we'll just go to this link and we'll browse it. And we can see these are the images. Let's say for example, this is my ASA firewall. I can drag and drop on the other side, right? And this is how the images will get uploaded to your EVNG. Now, once the images are uploaded, we can see those images in our EVNG. Okay, so accordingly, you need to drag and drop all those images like we have uh, iOS images, layer two images, layer three images. You can select all these images and you can drag and drop on the other side. So you can see all these images are getting uploaded inside your EVNG. Now to verify all these images, we have to re we have to get inside the EVNG. We go to a browser. Inside a browser, you can go get into 150.1.7.84. This was an IP address which we had assigned to a EVNG. I log into a GUI with the username admin and default password as a EVE. I'll press enter. Here you can create any name, any folder. Let's say here I'll give a folder name as a uh anything like nh and inside this i can create any lab i can click on this option and say demo lab 
and I'll click on save. So as I uploaded few images, I can search here as a ASA. You can see this image has been uploaded, right? Now you can see this image is here. I can now again search for iOS images. You can see router and switches images, right? So like this, we can take all these images. You can take like iOS switch, go to a switch, right? You can choose any icons over here, right? And click on save. Now for connection, what you have to do, just drag and drop these wires on each other and the connections will be done. You can go to more actions and inside that you can see start all nodes. So click on this. Devices will get started. And now you can click on this particular devices icon and it will give you this particular option to get a console. So this console we are getting through a client pack and to download a client pack, you guys have to visit to official website of EVNG, go to download option. Inside this download option, you can see Windows client is given there. So you need to click on this Windows client and click on Windows integration pack, click on this, and it will take you to a mega drive from where you can download and click on this download option and you can see it's a few mb of file around 61 gb so once this is downloaded you can install it after installing this win client pack then only you guys can get the console in my case i had this evng win client pack already installed in your case, you guys can install it and then get the console of all the devices. So these consoles, these consoles, I had got it only after installing this EVNG client pack. So make sure this EVNG client pack is installed. This EVNG client pack contains YSART, Ultra, VNC, all these uh, devices are pre-included or applications are pre included in this particular Windows client. So please make sure, please make sure this client is installed in your PC. And after that, you guys can get the console like this and configure our devices. So this is how we create a lab. We upload the images on our EVNG pack. Further, if you guys have any questions, queries, please drop down in a comment box. I'll be updating you guys. I'll be surely giving you a help on whatever problems you guys are facing. Thanks. See you again.